Hello again, this is Robert Veach here, and this is my video review of the Shuffman brand. This is the Deep Fryer. It's a jumbo size with a included basket strainer. Now this unit is four liter capacity. You can see by the size compared to my hand that it's gonna hold a lot of stuff that you can fry. This has a fast, faster cooking, easy adjustable, fast frying by using built-in timer and a temperature gauge right here, which is all calibrated in degrees Fahrenheit. You have a power indicator and lets you know when the heating element is on and off. Now this whole thing electrically is approved by ETL, which has been looking at and approving electronics for over a hundred years. I actually started with Thomas Edison. So they're really been around longer than UL listing. So you know that this is very safe electrically. Now one of the safety features is a very short power cord and it pulls out. If this thing were to tip over, it disconnects uses a magnetic plug. We're going to show you how to plug that in. It comes with an instruction manual, which talks about some of the features and has a basic table for temperatures for different food groups. Also tells you how to register and go to the Chefman, clubchefman.com to give you the steps to become a club member after you make this purchase. Now I mentioned the basket and you can see the basket hangs on the side really nicely and you can drop things in there. Typically when you use the basket, you're not going to be using the lid, but the lid goes on just like that. If you're frying things like potatoes, something that has more moisture, then you don't necessarily want to use the lid. You want to use this right here. And when you're draining, you're going to just keep it right there to drain the oil. Now the lid itself, right here machine washable a dishwasher safe and it has this little permanent filter right here which you can clean and that'll just keep some of the oil and debris out of the uh, out of the air so that is less cleaning for you to do now you notice there's a notch right there and that's open for the electrical for the heater element core to drop down in there and it closes. You also have a little viewing window right there and I recommend you have a nice flashlight so that when you're frying you could look right in there and see how things are going. Now the first thing you want to do when you first get your Chefman deep fryer is you want to take the heating element just by lifting it up vertically and there you see the whole heating element in front of you and I'm going to show you that unique safety back plug so this only goes in one way just like that and then magnetically it's held in place so if you were to drop this and pull it it comes right out so you want to just gently wash this for the first time and thoroughly dry it and then the actual oil basket comes right out and you want to wash and clean this and thoroughly dry it on the side there is written minimal and maximum if the camera could pick that up but right over there is a minimal maximal line and that's where you want to keep your oil level you want to use one type of oil you don't want to be mixing for instance butter with vegetable oils you want to use one oil all vegetable oil if possible and everything is stainless steel that you see that's here which is nice the heating element is immersive heating element now the reason why this is nice is that this is right in the oil and there's temperature sensors on here there's two of them that send feedback information to the little processor inside here and what that's going to do is going to keep the temperature really even this is why when you have a unit like this you really could deep fry things very professionally and they're going to taste great when you do it over the stove there's no regulation on temperature and that's why you have a problem now this plug is a polarized plug it only goes in one way on your U.S. outlets. So don't defeat that. Just keep it uh, only one way on your polarized outlets. You need a 15 amp U.S. plug fuse on there because that's what it requires. This is a lot of power because it's got a lot of power to deep fry. The process to use this is 
you want to clean it and dry it, put your oil in, put the coil in, and then you want to power it up. And we're going to show that process. We're going to be frying some homemade delicious egg rolls. And we're also going to fry some potatoes to see how those come out. Now, after 8 to 12 uses of the oil, um, you probably want to change the oil at that point. And you could pour the oil into a container in your refrigerator. When you're moving the oil from here to your refrigerator, take a little strainer, stainless steel strainer, and strain out the little pieces of breading and the particles that are in there. That'll make the oil last a lot longer and the temperature will be very even when you reuse it. But I would suggest after 12 uses, you replace the oil. You're better off. And again, do not mix oils. Have one type of oil and you'll be all set. So next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean the oil basket and the coils, the heating coil, and this basket right here. And then I'm gonna dry it and come back. We're gonna plug this thing in and we're gonna give it a try. Okay, so here I have the oil basket and I cleaned it and it's dry. And I cleaned this for the first time and it's nice and dry. And I cleaned the cover also, and that's dry also. So before I plug this in, I'm going to add the oil. I'm going to put the coil back. This has been cleaned and thoroughly dried also. Now make sure you put it in the back and you line it up with those two slots. And then it drops right down just like that. Now I'm going to put the magnetic power on the back of this, but I'm not going to plug it in until, until I have the oil in there. So now I have the plug ready to be plugged in. So I have some all-purpose vegetable oil right here. And I'm going to fill that up. And I'm going to be watching those minimal maximum lines closely. Use a flashlight here. Let's see, where did they go? I decided to go to just about the maximum level, which is Pretty much this whole 102 fluid ounce container of oil. So that's just about up to the maximum level. And we can now plug the unit in. I'm going to put it to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. And put the timer to 60 minutes. So you notice it doesn't come on until the power doesn't indicate until you have the timer on. So that's how this, the timer turns the unit on and off. So on my left side, you can see I have potatoes, which have been sliced like french fries. And I have egg rolls. And I have eggplant, which has been battered with eggs and seasoned breadcrumbs. Those are the three things I'm going to try here. So you can hear the oil. It's already making a bubbling sound because what's happening is the heating elements are heating up and it's going to try to bring it to this temperature that I set. So right now I have a 375, I might lower it to 350 depending on how it fries. I want to point out that you have the power light, you have the little heating green light and when that light goes off it's telling me that it's reached that temperature. I'm going to put the cover on here to heat the oil up a little faster. Okay, so the heating element has turned off and it's up to temperature. It should be 375 degrees. So the first thing I'm gonna try is the egg rolls. I have them in the basket right here. I'm gonna place them in the oil. Now if you want to use the cover with the basket, you can. So if you want to use so if you want to use the cover. Just put the cover on while it's frying and it lines up perfectly. And I can use this flashlight and look right inside there. Might be hard to see the camera picking it up, but I can see the egg rolls frying. 
It's really nice having this basket because you can lift this up to see how they're doing. And you can also, at the end, we're going to show, we're going to put it on the little hook there and we're going to let the oil drain. I'm going to point something out also that when you put cold food or room temperature food, it drops the temperature of the oil and the heating light comes on. So what it's doing, it's compensating and it's sending heat to those coils to compensate to try and keep that temperature constant. So that's a sign that this is good quality because it's got the correct feedback to the little processor right here, which is going to control the temperature of that oil for you. So you can see that they are just, just about perfect. We're going to lift this out of the basket and use the little hooking mechanism right there and just let those sit and drain a little bit of the oil. Then we're going to transfer them to a plate. Now there's no problem leaving that oil going for the next thing I'm going to cook because it has a thermostat control on there. So just look how beautiful that is. Okay, the next thing I'm going to try is some french fries. Now a little, a little tip after you slice them, cook them in the microwave uncovered for about seven or eight minutes and then let them cool down and then remove some of the moisture in them. So we're going to put these french fries I'm not going to put them all because I'm going to save some for later. Put it right there. And we're going to drop it down into the oil. Just like that. Now you can see there's more of a reaction because they always have more moisture in them. So if it starts to splash, just put the cover on there. And we can always use the flashlight trick. You can see it's steaming because there's so much moisture in potatoes. Probably the same thing's gonna happen when I do the eggplant right here. Let's take the cover off and see how they're doing. Wow, they're almost done already. French fries cook up really fast. Look how nice that is cooking them, how even. You see the bubbling is uni uniformly all around. Look at that, just like professional at a restaurant. Okay, looks like they're just about finished. We're gonna put them on the side here. Let them drain a little bit. Look at that beautiful golden color. And now we're gonna transfer them to a plate with paper towels. I wanted to show the egg roll. You can hear that crunch. Absolutely perfect inside, not oily, delicious. So here's one of the french fries. Just wanted to show you, perfectly brown and absolutely delicious. Soft and tender on the inside with a crispiness on the outside. Now I have the Eggplant with eggs and breadcrumbs. Let's give that a try. So here's the eggplant and it cooked pretty fast like about three minutes. And I'm going to lift it out of the basket and use the holding lid again and just let it drain. Then we're going to take them out and put them on a uh, paper towel again like the other ones and we're going to give them a taste. So here's the eggplant. Let's see. It's beautiful and tender on the inside and moist and crispy on the outside. Just wanted to give my overall opinion about the Chefman uh, Deep Fryer. I think this is a great product. Um, it works really well. It's lightweight and the way everything comes apart for cleaning makes it a breeze. So I'm going to take this oil and I'm going to put it in a container. I'm going to strain it and I'll reuse it probably up to 12 times. But it's really worked really well and I'm going to give it a full 5 star rating on my channel. I hope this video review helped you with your buying decisions. Thanks for watching.